I know, but like, you know, if I was a singer, like, I mean, I always want, I, I, I like the idea of, well, technically I, I started a, a group years ago and I always liked having the creation of three people in a girl, not a band, but I guess singing group, right? It's a singing group. So like, I didn't consider myself being the backup singer, you know, like it was a group. We were all right, together. Exactly. Some, you know, like, okay, you, you know, you sing this part, you sing that part, you sing that part. But I mean, technically when were backup singers created? I mean, it was, has it always been, or was that always? It's, 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 I think, I think it's been around for a long time. I'm not sure when it actually started, but it's been around for a long time people in the background singing uh, that you don't know who they are. Okay. You're focused on the lead person like a Bing Crosby or a Sting or, um, or uh, uh, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, but, I mean, it, it breaks up in eras like the 60s, the 40s, the 70s, and, and then you go into like the 80s and 90s, but. No, Elvis Presley. Right. I back up singers because, you know, there were, that, that was their role. But the Supremes were a group. They were a trio. You knew who Mary Wilson was. Right. You knew who Florence Ballard was. You knew who Diana Rose was. Yes, she had the lead vocals, but it was the combination of all three of them Tick. that made their sound. So sound. technically, while you may say she was a backup singer, she wasn't. And she didn't act like a backup singer. Right. She acted like she was part of the group, and she was. Wow. So a lot of it is psychological or 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 the way you perceive or the way the person perceives themselves if the person perceives themselves as a backup singer then they're a backup singer but if they perceive themselves as part of the group they're part of the group right. and i always thought of when i listen to the supremes it's diana ross mary wilson and florence ballard and later cindy birdsong but you know they were always a group to me until it became diana ross and the supremes um, and that was the beginning of the push for Diana to be the front person. Wow. And uh, that was the beginning of the end of the Supremes. Because mm. eventually she went on her own. And Just like, like in, in, in any creation, you, you, you break up as a, as a group and, and, and lead and, and go out solo and, and create your own music. Yes. Um, well, I wonder what's the future of of groups are they gonna are I feel like there's new groups being created for the new future or is it going to be independent artists just oh, it's gonna be both like it's always been you know they're gonna be groups they're gonna be stars. You know, I learn every day more about music, and 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 I can see. I would lo I would love to create a group. I would love to create a group, and I, I I see a future in that. But that's it, folks. That was our podcast. Uh, rest in peace. We lost an a, 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 an icon, and um, for for Beauty Tuesday, I, I dedicate this to you. And rest in peace, and and our condolence. All right, everybody, till then, you count, you matter. Stay in Brooklyn. Bye-bye.